Welcome back to the Slump Moving and Storage YouTube channel. As always, I'm Sean, and today we have a very unique piece of furniture here. As you can see, there is glass on three sides of this piece of furniture, and it needs to be protected in a special way. So today I'm going to show you how that's done. But before we do, if you guys like this kind of stuff, if you get value out of this video, please hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more videos that we have just like this one. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to pad this piece of furniture. Then I'm going to wrap it with a cardboard, and then I will pad it again. And that ensures that nothing's going to happen to the glass. And I know it sounds like overkill, but trust me, it's not. So let's get started on the padding. All right, you'll take your pad. Make sure you have it long ways. And we'll drape up over top a little bit. Yes, a little bit is exposed here, as you can see, but we'll take care of that in a minute. I guess as you can see, there is an exposed edge down here, but we're gonna take care of that in a second. First things first, we're gonna make sure that we have all this glass protected. Now we use these large rubber bands because not only are they economical, they're also eco-friendly, but basically we get to reuse these over and over and over. And we don't have to waste all our money on tape. So you take your pad and you'll fold it up just like this with a nice seam, right? There's no bunching that way. You'll take your band, wrap it around like that. Come around to the other side here and do the exact same thing. By pulling the pad up like this, bringing it across, you ensure you have no seams, no creases, and everything looks good and it's nice and tight. Now that we have the first two pads on, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that cardboard on and we're gonna wrap around the glass areas. And we're going to use tape to do that because tape will hold the cardboard tighter than the bands will. All right, guys, for this, I'm going to use some cardboard I had laying around the shop. This happens to be an old mattress carton. Uh, it's junk anyway, so all I'm really doing here is recycling what I already had. That way we don't have any waste. So we're going to go ahead and cut this down. With the cardboard cut now, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around the front, making sure I cover both sides. Just as I said before, guys, the only time I'm gonna use tape in this whole process is right now to ensure that this stays on nice and tight. Now that this has been covered with cardboard, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pad it one more time. Give it that extra level of protection. As you guys can see here, this is all completely covered now, and it only took three pads because of how narrow it is. This one pad, the third one, was able to cover both sides and the front. And as you can see down here, now we have the legs covered. Now we're all secured. I'm going to add one layer of stretch wrap to really keep everything in place and ensure that extra level of quality that we like to provide. Stretch wrap can be a little tricky. 
especially when you're starting it. So I like to take a little bit and wrap it in here. That'll hold it in place as I begin. Now you want to pull tight. And if you have an extra hand, having somebody here to make sure the piece stays balanced and doesn't tip is very important. Right now I don't have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I go slow, pull this tight and just take my time. And there you have it guys, a fully wrapped and packed piece of furniture, and specifically a piece with glass on the front and the sides. This is exactly how professionals do it. This is how we do it to ensure a high level of quality and that your stuff stays protected throughout the entirety of your move. If you guys got value out of this video, please hit that like button for me. That way I know to keep bringing this to you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. If you're interested, you can find us on social media. That'd be Facebook and Instagram at Stump Moving or on the World Wide Web at www.stumpfmovingandstorage.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.